So you were kind of an unknown when you became secretary of state. I kind of like remember reading your name and thinking, well, I know who he is. I remember him from being Cong from Congress and obviously, you know, the CIA, obviously. But how how was that, you know, flying, being the face of America abroad? What was it like? My goodness, it was it's uh, is it was amazing. I, I, I can't tell you how much people want to see you when you're America's, America's secretary of state. So wherever you fly, right, that plane lands and they want you to come see their leader, the prime minister, the president, the your, your counterpart, the foreign secretary. And it wasn't because of Mike. It was never they didn't want to see Mike. They wanted to see America's secretary of state because America's secretary of state can do an awful lot of good for them. And if they can develop a relationship or make a persuasive argument and convince America to assist them, uh, then it's much to the benefit of their country. And we are so so big, so powerful, and and frankly, such a force for good throughout the world that I, I it's, it's quite a privilege to be the, the embodiment of that history of, of the administration trying to deliver for, for them, knowing full well the mission was always America first, get it right, take care of our people at home, and then let's find friends and partners to help deliver on that. It was the, it was, it was the privilege of a lifetime for sure.